We're loading up the city here, Dan. All right, what city are we in? Uh, 13 million. That's a great question. I don't know. This is Dex, a uh, cyberpunk action role-playing game, I guess I would call it. Okay. Uh, it's on Steam for 20 bucks, um, and this is the beginning of the game. I've played a little bit into it, but we're going to start a fresh game here on account of it doesn't have Steam Cloud support. And, you know, that's somewhere at home. I've got a different save, but hey. Are they working on making that kind of uniform across every it is, game? It or? is kind of uniform. It's just a matter of developers kind of supporting the hooks for it. Okay. I, I, I think so. You know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I was not that far into it, and uh, we'll get a kind of good look at some of the mechanics and, and uh, some of the stuff they have you do here. But uh, are, are you a robot lady? It no, looks like I'm you a had... lady lady. This lady here wakes up to find that uh, she is being hunted. By cyberpunks? She, I think she is a cyberpunk. Though you know, cyberpunks have to rebel against the, like the law here. Look at her trench coat. She's a cyberpunk. Okay, she's like Gambit in the future, raging against the machine. Is that what cyberpunks do? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they could do that. The cyber machine. Uh, Raycast here is giving us a quick, uh, a quick uh, taste of some some cyberspace here. Are, are you hacking? I'm hacking. I'm hacking the elevators because they're trying to get up there and get me. Okay. Okay, unit, use the stairs. You have a natural dispensation for this. Now quickly, out of the window, go to Victor's home It's a hacktivist bar. You should be safe. Talk to Decker there. We've got to go to the hacktivist That's bar. You. Oh, I don't like that word. Where the hacktivists are. Oh, boy. <laughs> what was the first cyberpunk thing? Was it Blade Runner? Neuromancer, maybe. Okay. It's kind of... Maybe not the first, but uh, you know, certainly one of the most influential. Okay, got some cool uh, lighting stuff going on here. Yeah, like a fog of war or something in in a two D side scrolling sort of scene here. Yeah. Is that is there stealth mechanics tied around that, or is that just uh, purely aesthetic? Uh, there is a little bit of stealth involved, but not necessarily a ton of it. It's sort of okay. So we actually, that's right. We go down here. And go in this door. Uh, it's got controller support, pretty decent. Hit the Y button to interact with stuff so I can kind of loot things. I picked up an old data chip. We can go into our inventory here. I take it you are using the uh, controller right now? I am. Yes. Yeah. I used the data chip. Okay. Uh, it's, it just says knowledge for me hmm. as the description. So I, I don't know if maybe that's just kind of free XP. Yeah, it looks like I got 50 XP. So maybe it's just. Oh, so that's like your. Okay. Yeah. So, gotcha. you know, not necessarily a skill tree, but there's, you know, stuff for, uh, you know, getting extra kind of speech bonuses, uh, extra time in AR, which is their cyberspace kind of term. Uh, and then these, uh, these have actual uh, upgrades associated with the first point in melee, gives you a three hit combo, that sort of stuff. So kind of noticeable upgrades. So you're just getting like skill points through the XP progression? Yeah. Okay. So in combat here, I can block like that uh, and kind of counter. Uh, or I can kind of attack and roll away, you know, kind of play a little stick and move. Is there any kind of like low punch or anything like that or is it all just that one straight ahead punch? I have a jump kick. Okay. And as you upgrade melee, you get access to more stuff. Okay. Um, this first aid here, we actually don't need it because I didn't take any damage in that fight. Nice. Okay, now we're back outside here, so I guess we want to actually... Yeah. Okay, so you can kind of get behind somebody and get a takedown kill. Looks like you're able to pretty much sprint right up on him. Yeah, too, it wasn't and... necessarily like a, a big stealth thing. Okay. Do you even have like a crouch walk uh, mechanic? Yeah. Oh, okay, that, yeah. Eh, it's a good looking crouch walk. Yeah. It's hard to crouch walk. Yeah, yeah. It's tough on the quads. Yeah. Quads are screaming. All right. Now we get our credits here. Ooh. As we ride this elevator. It's made by Dreadlocks Limited. All right. I count six dreadlocks on that logo, which is. It's pretty limited. It's a limited number. Six big dreadlocks. Yeah. Very Metal Gear Solid, get to the elevator and then see the credits. Mm -hmm. I like that. Axel Droxler. That sounds like a pretty cyberpunk name. That's a great name. Yeah. yeah. Axel Droxler's probably punched deck one or two times. <laughs> a lot of good names here. Yeah. Where is this made? A land of good names. Europe. Okay. Right, right. 
Jessica Boone. See, all these crazy names. Abigail Rice. That's not a real name. That's no, just... Rice's food. Maggie Maxwell, that's pretty good. All right, so, okay, now we'll kind of end up in these service set shafts. So we're kind of safe for the moment from the cops that were uh, trying to find us here. And we've, uh, we've got enough XP, I think, to level up now. Um, so I can spend a skill point in one of these categories. I can get 50 additional XP, three hit combo, uh, weapon recoil reduction, which I haven't, I, there are no weapons this early in the game as far as I can tell, so I'm not gonna go with that. Um, hacking gets you into cyberspace, but I think that's, you get that as part of a tutorial bit in a little bit here. Uh, lock picking one and two, so they'll just be locks that'll say like, level two lock picking required, and you know, you will have to have, to have, have spent points there. Uh, better speech options, barter, eh. And then uh, enhancements for your hacking. I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the melee here. I think early on, yeah. Um, smart to get that that three hit combo. So we've confirmed that. Now you see the third hit on that is a little mm. uh, gut punch. Uh, a little forward right fierce him. action there. Um, all right. So that's not the way to go. We'll just go another first aid kit. But we're, again, we're we're good. Are the enemies human cops or robot cops? I believe they're armored human cops. Okay. Um, but really, man, they might as well be robots. Right, right, man. We found some Energo Cola and some synth beer. Let's walk on this pipe. What would synth beer be? Whoa, shit. Well. Wow. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Well, looky at you. What do we have here? Some little bird falling down from her nest. I'm gonna say that maybe the voice acting is not Everything this game's strength. Yeah, seems a little forced. But some, top. but some of it is like it, enjoyable for maybe the wrong reason. <laughs> okay, so we we fell down here to where uh, there are our criminals down here, so we have to. This place is our home, girl. Cedars. Cedars territory. Have very limited dreadlocks. It looks like there's at least twelve there. Mm. Now, what you really here for, huh? I don't know, those don't look like dreadlocks that much. It what just looks like dig the dirt new people stuff that comes out of a Play-Doh thing that you crank. Sure. In your pockets, girl. You ain't, I'm gonna it's a beg. For that, honey. We get to decide what so this is where charisma and stuff would uh, come into play? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Like You would get additional speech if options if you had uh, charisma, and it's hard control. to know if this is a conversation that would have them or not. Right. Take it down, boys. Okay, well, that's that's gonna be a fight no matter what, so we can use that combo. Oh, oh, third punch, you gotta land. Mm. There, there it is. Did the trick. So I don't really have stamina to worry about when it comes to this stuff. I can sort of just keep punching if they're standing there blocking. She's got a chain. Uh -oh. we got ourselves a chain fight tonight. <laughs> Never been hit by a chain. Probably you know, I suck. bet it would hurt. Yeah, bet it would hurt a lot. All right, so. Oh god. And the block, you know, there's no like chip damage equivalent or anything here. It's just sort of you block what? the attacks or you don't. Okay. Um, okay, we got a T-shirt and 57 bucks. For killing that woman. So is the t-shirt something you like equip or you sell? Or? Uh, you can sell this stuff. The, the, the description here just says, yep, it's a shirt. Yeah. And I can't really use it. It's just sort of something I can sell when I get to a shop. So, yeah, it seemed like there's a fair amount of vendor trash in this game. Okay. I'm okay with that as long as there is a, like, get rid of all trash button when you're selling stuff. Mm. This guy's got a crowbar. Punch him in the gut. Yeah. Uh oh. He had $28 on him. So you can kind of take cover in some of these hmm. spots here. And can you just like avoid that fight completely? Uh, no, if you, he, well, if he sees you get into cover, he will just come flush you out of it. Porn but, magazine. Oh dear. And a cola. All right. Yeah. I needed both of those things. Hmm. That was a ladder here. I don't know that I saw this ladder before. What do we got? Oh, hey, what's up? Oh. Oh, you know what? I came into this room from the other way, maybe. I, I forget. 
Yeah, are there many like branching paths, or is it pretty linear? Uh, so, like quest-wise, like kind of the the first quest we're gonna come up come up on here, we'll have options about how we want to handle it. Um, yeah. I take it you're getting more XP for those uh, takedown kills. Uh, I think you get just as many experience points. Oh, it's not okay. necessarily. My HP is running low, so I'm gonna go in here. Uh, Let's see here. Stimulant pills restores 50 HP. Drugs. Uh, the description for scent beer. The description for scent beer? Yeah. Is not sure anything in this ever saw a hop field. Oh, okay. Artificial beer. All right. That guy's done. What's in here? Oh, this is just that going to be this area. Yeah, okay. That's the other door to this area. Got it. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. There's these guys. Oh, man. They get two of them like that. You start hitting on one of them, the, the other one is able to just kind of come at you. Oh, jeez. Gotta find the equivalent of whatever that, uh, what was that one hit kill move you kept doing in Double Dragon on Arcade Archives? Just the elbow? Yeah, the yeah, elbow. Yeah. yeah. That seemed handy. Yeah, the elbow is a powerful move. All right, there's nothing in there. So we'll keep heading this way to the sewers. Oh, there's a guy up there. I don't, I don't know there's a way for us to, there's probably a way for us to get up there, but. Ever been elbowed in the face? I mean, not on purpose. I have, it hurts. Yeah. I had to go to the dentist because my teeth got all like caved in. Mm. Hurts. There's a button here we can push, so we'll push it. Well, so much for that. Mm. Climb up that? Uh -oh. Uh oh. Well, now we can. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and we leveled up. So I'm going to put a point in. Well, hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I kind of know what's coming a little bit. So the second point in melee would give us a down and attack uh, trip, like a sweep kick. Okay. Um, I could use that HP, actually. Is that endurance is just HP? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's uh, you want additional implant, like, you know, the, the things you get vary. Um, you can't do any implant stuff yet. There's a story thing that has to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put this point into lock picking. And uh, we'll move on. I heard you. All right, we turned off the steam over here, and we keep moving. Twenty-five dollars in that, just hanging out. Yeah, it's where I stash my money, in a box in the sewers. Mm -hmm. It's like fire extinguisher cases. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we can go this away. I find that the darkness, kind of the that kind of line of sight stuff, sometimes makes it difficult to see where ladders are and stuff like that. Like I've oh, like the shadows are just kind of obscure, like yeah, something important. Yeah. I see you. Ooh, edgy, aren't ya? What do you like out there when here has you shaking, eh? Huh? Too clean. No, so this guy's a weirdo. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, and he's going to give us a quest here. Uh, and Or he'll, he'll tell us about kind of the way out of here. We're trying to get to this Fixer's Hope place. Um, and... The ladder over there, doubt the lock is hard to pick. This guy lives in the sewers? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a dark cyber future. People live in the sewers, all sorts of places. He's got a key to this door uh, that would be a faster way to get to where we're going than, like, running through this toxic gas in the sewers. Um, looks like we could just just fight him for the key. Yeah, you probably just kill him. Um, but he's basically saying like, probably already is lizard's tail. Wise of you, very wise. Yeah. So there's a stash of C4 inside the Cedar's base, and we can go in there and uh, get the C4 
<laughs> and used to blow up their a bridge that leads from their place to uh, a toilet paper and a t-shirt over there. Just sweet. But over here, there's a first aid station. This is what I was looking for. It seems like the there resistance from uh, Demolition Man living underground. Yeah. Is Demolition Man cyberpunk? I mean, in a sense, yeah. I guess you could say it's. Well, no, not. I mean, <laughs> there are elements. I guess I would. What is it missing that would make it cyber, cyberpunk? Cyberspace. Oh. Actual computer hacking. In a, in a greater, as a greater context. Okay. So I, it's because I spent that point in lock picking. Like we can go up there and listen to him and talk about this whole key business, but I can just straight up unlock this door. Oh, nice. Like I don't have to dick around. Um, so you've got options in case you didn't go that level up path. Yeah, basically. So at that point I could go up, up this ladder and to the left, into the base, get the C4, blow up the bridge and he would give me the key. I could jump him and probably take the key from him. Hmm. Uh, or I could try to slip out this way uh, through these toxic tanks area of the sewers. But that's gonna be a lot tougher. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But, you know, we're just gonna go. Um, what's, oh, that's, okay, so this is where we would get out if we went into the toxic area. I'm actually gonna, hey, what's up? Bonus HP there. It's kinda like Half-Life uh, health things on the walls, basically? <laughs> yeah, sort of. They recharge. All right, so uh, here we are in the general vicinity of where we're headed, uh, but we need to find this. Okay, that's that's not that's no good. We don't want to go that way. That's oh, there's a ladder here too, right? Yeah, I feel like the ladders maybe don't stand out as much as they could. Okay. Are, they, are they always red? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, um. All right, so let's, here's Fixer's Hope, the place we were headed to. It's a seedy bar. Okay. Which is, you know, if you're making cyberpunk, you need to have runners and cyberpunk. a place where cyberpunks can hang out and drink future drinks. Right. Go stay. They probably just call them drinks though, right? Probably, yeah. I don't know, maybe they have some dumb that name for them. It's like, like synth beer? It's like synth beer. You're Decker, right? I'm... Ah, uh, you're late, I know. And you're just as sorry as last time. Now, you better start acting natural, because that guy behind you, I had never seen him before, and I sure don't trust how he's looking at you. He's looking now? I, I can take him. You can do what I say. Now, I don't know how you fried that CPD, Mary Jane, but it's toast. Come on back, we'll pick you out another. Come. Sure. Thanks. So yeah, I mean, she just kind of woke up to being chased and has really, and, and some stranger told her, hey, you need to get to this bar. So she really so, doesn't have a good idea of what's going on. But no this Raycast guy that gave you the information at the beginning of the game uh, is apparently like a pretty renowned hacker. So when you say that, hey, Raycast talked to me and, you don't know who Raycast is? and and like people are stoked by that. People are like, oh man, he's huge. He's a big name. Yeah, okay. I don't owe him. I don't even know him. And let's just uh, but we'll kind of we'll move through the dialogue a little bit. Uh, but basically, there's a shadow organization, the government above the government. They're after you. Do we know why? Nothing. That's my No. Does she know who she is? She doesn't really. She, so you'll you'll uh, we'll probably get to the point where you find out um, what makes her special. Uh, pretty soon here, we're headed to Tony's. So he's told us that it's too hot here. His place is actually getting jumped by these guys that have been looking for you. Uh, so you're sneaking out the back and uh, heading to a place to meet up with a guy called Tony. Hmm. Take that crowbar, man. $34, all mine. Nice. Between Decker, Raycast, and Tony, I think it's clear which one has the least cyberpunk name. Yeah. All right, we're not even gonna fight Chain Lady. We're in a hurry. If you wanted to, could you grind? Like, could you keep coming back to a spot and get an XP? I'm not sure, I haven't, I haven't really uh, gone back into an area after the fact yet. Okay, that guy's got a gun. You know, we're just gonna, we're gonna hit it. Is this like a, kind of an Arkham thing to where guns are, if you're getting shot, you're dying quickly? <laughs> nah, not necessarily. Well, I don't know, that, that I lost a third of my health right there, just on that screen, so. Uh, but we found Tony's. <laughs> Be 
People don't come here. You, Tony? Decker said you had a place to hide out. I'm here to hide out. Decker? Look, if you're in trouble, I don't want any part of it, okay? I'm in more than just trouble. Tony, please. Decker said you'd help. Oh, man. Can't a guy run a record in peace? Okay. Okay. We'll talk. Just talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where is that grain grid runner anyway? And why did attacked? By who? Raycast? You you know Raycast? Tony! Open up! It's Decker! Let me in! Alright, so Decker escaped, and here we are. Um We made it. Quack! <laughs> All right, I like Tony. Don't worry about Tony. I've known him for years. He was a regular at Fixer's Hope. All right. He's only uh, there. Not my first rodeo, kid. I was jumping busts for... Ha! <laughs> what? Because I still shower? My people ain't short on thinking, all right? I keep illegals to a minimum, and any speak going on is as hushed as a sea... You know what they say. If you ain't got ideals as a kid, you're missing a heart. Jeez. Shouldn't we talking about how to save your ass right now? Sure. What else you need to know, Blue? Or aren't we done, Gap? What do you mean? You're the Raycast Connect here. You had the cyberspace feed. Just jack back in there and show me your neck. What's this? This ain't a jack. So she doesn't have a a jack to get into cyberspace in the back of her neck. Oh, like, like Matrix thing. Yeah, like okay. other people do. Neck plates. You're wearing freaking ornaments. We're not on a catwalk here, sister. How the hell can you not have a jack? How did you plug into Is the she network? off the grid? What are you talking about? Kind of, sort of. jack, mm -hmm. you ain't jacking in. I don't know. They, they don't really give you any indication you as to, like, how many space, people are have the jack cast, in them the and how many don't exactly or, you know, that sort of thing. Is so. that doubt in your tone? You need to be changing up your tonality. Because tone knee's been slipping across the ice more than a penguin in slippers. Yes! I mean... Yes, I can get Raycast a message. Oh, why? You're wearing a hat. Oh, yeah. Hello again, Dex. It pleases me to see you alive. Glad to hear that. I wish there had been another way, Decker. But please trust me when I say this is worth it. Now, Raycast like a tangible short, entity, or is he just like some sort of? He's coming AI. at you from cyberspace. I, 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 I think that I think the nature of Raycast space. will probably come to light as the story goes on. Yeah. Right now, you only really see him in cyberspace, uh, mm. so who knows if he even looks like this or is a person. To. It could live in you some like lawnmower, lawnmower man universe. Sure. To cyberspace this time. Um, What's he talking about? She's got no jack. I'm not sure she needs one, T. Now see before you so that's the secret, is that she can get into cyberspace even though she doesn't have a jack. Mm. And then this is the representation of cyberspace, which is almost like a little dual joystick shooter here. I'm using both the analog sticks and then the triggers will shoot. Huh. Um, so I can hack that panel. How did she? Careful. Viruses will begin to flood towards you, hindering your focus. Come back to us now. Oh dear. Get out of there. Yeah, so you see my focus is draining here. Anyway. So you can just leave that and then the viruses aren't a problem? Yeah, it seems like it. Could you repeat that experience alone? I'll do my best. But now, I have knowledge for you. No doubt you want it has Kether is the most advanced AI ever created. So I guess the, the, the idea is that some advanced AI has like put of the world some of its network. being into you a human and you can get into cyberspace that way. That's kind of the setup for the story. You know, Just like mentally? Really, like mentally you can get into cyberspace? Think your way into cyberspace. Okay, at any point. Much like Neo could think his way into the Matrix to a certain extent. Oh yeah, you could just see it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we can heal up here. Looks like you're gonna be hanging here for a while. Just please. What's he done? More like. Yeah, well, office job. I'm Tony the Professor. I made an aim bot for talks a lot. strike. Yeah. Okay. Well, a guy's gotta roll with the punches, you know. But I'm not as big a fish as you might think. Oh, uh, didn't Neo have a jack? He had to sit in some oh, yeah, crazy yeah, chair. He, he did. I'm not saying he didn't have one, but I'm really saying you know at some point. Prepared. He could kind of just see the stuff without being in the matrix. So not exactly the same as this, but you know, 
similarities. I need to watch Blue. the Matrix again. Right. Uh, you know, the first one was yeah, pretty damn good. Yeah. It's, fine. Uh, it's, it's maybe a rough. I'm curious about that. Uh, okay, so here's kind of our, our cyberspace tutorial. You kind of get a more of a look at kind of how this stuff works. It's you know kind of a shooter. These things are really small, so it's not yeah. like a particularly fun shooter. Uh, you know, I'm kind of have to really be precise with the right stick to hit these things. Yeah, this isn't really like Geometry Wars, just like run and spray everything. No, no. Um, but that's, you know, it's, it's not really, it doesn't seem like it's meant to be too much of an action thing. Right. Uh, so we come upon these firewalls. I can shoot them. Uh, I don't have a strong, oh, I do have a stronger attack. Okay, so you only have with multiple attacks uh, that you can use in cyberspace. Uh, you can equip different stuff. Uh, so kind of drains that energy on the right there. But I'll, I'll always have access to this kind of basic little kind of pea shootery weapon. Oh, God. I wonder if you can level up that pea shooter, because that just seems super duper weak right now. Yeah. All right. Let's just go over there and get that. And uh, some bonus XP here. And what's over on the other side here? You were not supposed to read that. It's an email from, it's an email to Tony about uh, him subscribing to a porn site. Cool. Oh, Tony. Vintage Tony. Yeah. Watch out. Okay, so now we'll have something that resembles an actual fight here. Oh. Uh, so that thing, it looks like it'll generate enemies, generate viruses. The thing we'll you just destroyed? With. Yeah, yeah, the thing in the middle there. Um, we can hack our way past this to get some bonus experience. And uh, I think that then we can kind of be on our way. Oh, a little bonus hey. money here. Stealing money from Tony. I gotta learn how to hack. Yeah. It's like free money. Man, is hacking illegal? I mean, will slow you down, like the grid man. When you're when you're jacked in, when you're punching deck, <laughs> what is legal? What is illegal? You know, the grid like the midway game, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Six player business. That's a black hole. That seems bad. I'm hacking Tony's data node, and then we're leaving. Me. Lucky dice at the end there, but no. Well, that's where the augmentations come in handy. So uh, from this point on, you go on to get your implants, um, which then you can kind of slot augmentations uh, and stuff Look, like that, and really it kind of expands from there. Um, but that's the setup for Dex. Uh, I think, you know, like the little bits and pieces of it, like the combat's not super involved. <laughs> Even as you upgrade it, it's sort of... You know, a little stiff in spots, and the the cyberspace. Like, no one bit of this game is incredible, but I like enough of what it's putting down uh, to kind of see each little piece through. You know, to some extent, I guess. It seems like it's trying a lot of different little things hey, here. Dex. Yeah, you know, it's it's got a lot of speech and trees and options there and stuff like that. I, I figure, you know, You'll if more of the quests kind of uh, have multiple solutions, sort of like that one we saw at the very beginning, then that, yeah. that's a cool sign. Um, you really need look. But I haven't necessarily, I haven't played too well. much past so this, so I'm not 100% sure how it opens up, but like, first impression, pretty positive. Hmm. Uh, especially for like a, you know, like a $20 thing. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's kind of cool. GSV to cool. Yeah. It. Uh, it's on GSV Steam now, perfect, I guess. But it was enough. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Two AIs, Kether and GSV.